people of earth, I want to warn you in the power of Jesus Christ's name that when my covenant of marriage was made, I wasn't married by anyone except a born-again Jew. Do you understand me? A born-again Jew gave me my sacred blessings. Now, Shalom, do you understand? Now, it hurts me in the power of the church, in the order of the J suits, to stand up to all you brothers out there. But guess what? I have a job to do. Now you listen to me. Every nation, kindred, and tongue. Joseph Stalin has blueprints of the superstructure temple that we are going to build in the center of Zion. You ignorant brothers call America because it is the temple of Jesus Christ, Hebrew kings, and the fulfilling of Isaiah chapter 11, 1 through 16. No bastard born out of wedlock is allowed to rule over the multitude of this sacred land. Period. If you are trying to steal the positions of the church with some cockamamie crap that you're some kind of ruler, I damn you in the name of Jesus. Only the church rules this world from one end to the other. United States Corporation, you are not a government. You are a liar. You are a business that is multi spread. But you are nothing more than a little occult band of ignorant men who think you deserve more than your fellow brother in the blessing of Abraham. And every single one of you that thinks this way, you are banished off my property. This is my Hebrew land, and you will obey Jesus, and you will obey the Pope. Well, by God, the most powerful eternal army of all time will escort you into hell. Do you understand? This is a promise from the prophet's office of the church. Acts 3.22 and Acts 3. Acts 5.39. Acts 3.22. Verse 23 and Acts 5.39. I double dog dare you. To put this to the test, you buffoons, you males, do not study your Bible, and you do not know the consequences of your folly. Your military weapons ain't got a freaking fart in the wind against the power of Jesus Christ's name. Do you understand me? I have made most of your martial arts training manuals, you arrogant little toilet sucking brats. How dare you insult me in my position in this church? I have handed your military forces so much power and glory. May it all be upon your head. I am Native American Hebrew. And my forefathers have walked this land in moccasins since Isaiah first built this. Do you understand me? Now, to all you, you don't understand. Because none of you s silly boys read your Bible. And that ain't my problem. That's your problem, and your daddy's problem, and your ignorant dad-granddaddy's problem. But what it's going to do, 
If it's going to send you to hell, then there ain't nobody going to help you. You can sit there and kick and boot and line. When your body and your flesh is rotten from cancer, your lungs are destroyed, and your body breaks down and poof, you're gone. See ya. Sayonara. Do you understand? We monks do not have to lift a finger. All we have to do is prove to God that you deserve to die. And I'm telling you right now, this U.S. occult government is banished. You deserve death. Period. You are greedy. You're trying to manipulate human life upon the earth to do your bidding. You do not rule this land. And by the power invested in me, Jesus, all of the Native American mantle that's been covering this army, I revoke it from them, God, until they are taught respect and taught to fear the Lord. Jesus, the only being between Christ and me that can change what I have done is the Pope himself. And I pray to God that he agrees with me.